Hello guys, how are you? God bless. Welcome for joining in. Is everybody okay? Are you guys with me? Give me a one if you can hear me. Tell me if my sound is loud and clear. Hello, hello. Can you guys hear me? Okay, thank you for the confirmation. Hey, welcome Angelo, Thomas, Audi Boo, welcome Miss Piggy. I think guys at this time it's really not very crowded on YouTube <laughs> how many we have only nine people watching wow that's something guys please invite your friends share the link so we can start please share the link with your friends and on social media God bless everyone who just joined in okay let me also let the people on Facebook know that we just went live. So people will get a notification. Yes, we are live, uh, Total. Welcome. God bless everyone who just joined in. Please share the link with your friends and on your social media accounts to let people know that we are live. This is the link, guys. Before we start, guys, let us pray in the name of Jesus so we'll be guided through today's live show. Dear Lord, please give me the strength when I'm weak and in need of your comfort. Please, Lord, guide us so we can learn to forgive others who might curse us or persecute us because we are followers of your Holy Son, Jesus Christ. Please give us a measure of your strength so that we might not give into discouragement, taqiyya, deception and doubt. Please, Lord, help us honor you in all our ways. Lord, thank you that when I'm weak, you are strong. Lord, the devil is scheming, and I know he desires to keep us from spending time with you. Thank you for your grace, and because of the ultimate sacrifice of your beloved Son, we are saved. Please give me the courage and wisdom today and always to overcome lies and deceptions. Help me not to lean on my own understanding, but in everything acknowledge you, Lord, so that you can direct my words, thoughts, and actions. Please, Lord, give me the courage to do whatever needs to be done. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Welcome, everybody. Please let everybody know that we are live. Invite your friends. Share the link on social media so people will know that we are live today guys on this live broadcast we will have the opportunity to show you the differences for spelling of the same words in the Hafz Quran not a different version the Hafz Quran which is the most used version of the Quran in the Islamic world this Hafz version is used in Saudi Arabia for example in Egypt and many other countries right and it's the most used Hafs version, right? Last but not least, when I finish my teaching, we'll have a nice Q&A session with our guests in the live chat. Hopefully, there will be also Muslims um, who are listening or maybe they have questions they can uh, ask their questions. Muslims can also call us live on Skype for a nice and respectful discussion about today's topic. My Skype ID is the Rob Christian without separation the rob christian let me put it in the chat guys so i want to ask only the muslims are allowed to call us live where when we are done teaching and the q a session starts guys please invite your friends don't be shy don't be lazy please guys give your friends and also shield media give them the link for our YouTube live broadcast. Help me to help you guys. So today, live show is about the many different spellings of the same words in the Quran, guys. And we are talking about the Hafs Quran. We're not talking about the Warsh, the Qalon, or Duri, or whatever different Quranic versions they are. They are 
today more than 20 sorry 32 different quranic versions but that's not our topic today today we are going to talk only about the hafs quran only about the hafs quran so we will go through the hafs quran to show you the differences in the spelling of the same words so i put a lot of work so i hopefully many people will join in because i did some nice uh, editing to show you uh, the differences because for the people who do not know arabic it's sometimes really hard to follow us or understand what happening what's happening so i try to make it easy for you guys welcome budros welcome everybody who just joined in god bless you so today i think is a very important topic because this topic is not mentioned enough let us start guys as an introduction we will go through this Islamic source. Read with me. And Hafiz ibn Abdul Hadi mentioned that it's narrated Hafiz ibn Abi Dawood and his Hafiz ibn Sulaiman Abu Umar al Asadi al Kufi al Bazar al Qari al Ghandari thought he was an Imam in Qira'a. But in the field of Hadith, he has been weakened by Ahlul Hadith. And some of them accused him of lying. So basically, what this is saying, guys, is that. Hafs, Hafs is the guy who Muslims now use his Quranic recitation. So basically there is no Quran today. There's only the recitation of Hafs. Right guys? So Muslims should not say we have the Quran. No, no. You have only the recitation of Hafs. And according to many Islamic scholars, Hafs was a liar and a thief. And all of his hadith is to be rejected. Last time we checked, the Quran itself is a hadith, but you know, let it go, let it go. So if we continue, guys, Abdullah ibn Ah, and Abdullah ibn Ah, Imam Ahmad said, "I heard my father saying, Hafs, the same guy, Hafs ibn Sulaiman, Abu Omar al Qari is abandoned in hadith. Do you catch it? Did you catch it? Matruk al hadith. So all the hadith of Hafs is to be rejected. Now." Muslims, why do you, after 1400 years, still follow the Quranic recitation of Hafs? Well, he is considered nothing than a liar. He's a liar, right? He's a scam, according to the ulama, to the scholars of Islam. Salih ibn Muhammad al-Baghdadi said, his hadith are not written and all of his hadith are manakir. Did you catch it? So all of his hadith is to be rejected. So if I'm a liar and I call myself Hafs, I'm a liar. Would you trust me in my Quranic recitation? The answer should be no, right? How can you call me a liar? But at the same time, you do put your salvation, right? Your salvation... And about the 72 virgins that you might not receive because Hafs is a liar, right? Can someone be a liar and at the same time be trustworthy? No, right? Welcome, uh, Hamba Allah. Welcome. God bless you, my friend. So, if we continue, Abu Rahman ibn Yusuf Kharash said, he is a liar. Hafs is a liar. His hadith is abandoned. Matruk. Matruk al hadith. He used to fabricate hadith. Did you catch it? So according to many scholars, guys, Hafs is a liar and all of his hadith is to be rejected. Abu Hatham ibn Hiban said, he used to mix the chain of transmission and used to declare marfu' some mursal reports and he used to take them from the books of people and write them and narrate them with, without listening to them. Did you catch it? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Muslims would say, let it go, let it go. It's okay. I mean, he's a liar, he's a kizab, but, but we do trust his Quran. Guys, that makes sense, right? This guy is considered to be a liar. On all of his speech, all of his hadith is to be rejected, right? He's considered a liar, but at the same time, 
more than 1.8 billion Muslims in 2019 put their trust in the recitation of Hafs, right? Why would you put your salvation, your 72 virgins that you will receive from Allah, why are you putting that all on, at risk by following a liar and deceiver in the form of Hafs? That doesn't make sense. And Ibn Adi said, as Saji informed me that Ahmed Ibn Muhammad al-Baghdadi informed me, he said, I heard Yahya Ibn Ma'in say, Hafs ibn Sulaiman and Abu Bakr ibn I were the most knowledgeable people of the Qira of Asim. And Hafs was better in Qira than Abu Bakr. And Abu Bakr was Sadduq and Hafs was a liar. <laughs> you see how many people we mentioned? Calling him a liar? All is of hadith is to be rejected. Matruk al-hadith? He's a liar! All of his hadith is matruk. Which means rejected, abandoned. Used to fabricate hadith. Uh oh. You know when we go, sometimes when we go and quote and mention a hadith, Muslims without any hesitation would call it da'if. We don't trust this hadith. Well, so basically this guy is a liar. So why would you put your salvation on a guy who is a liar and who fabricates hadith? Which is Hafs, right? Hafs himself. Let it go, let it go. That was basically a small introduction. Guys who just joined in, welcome and God bless. Please invite your friends. Don't forget to also subscribe and smash that like button, guys. And click also on the notification bell to receive notifications when we go live. You know how YouTube works by now, guys. Now, guys. So please invite your friends so we will continue our teaching today. So, you know, it doesn't make sense, guys. It doesn't make sense. And if we go to different sources, even very highly respected scholars like Al-Bukhari, وَقَالَ Al-Bukhari, تَرَكُوهُ They rejected him. وَقَالَ Muslim, Sahih Muslim, right? This, these are Sahih Al-Bukhari, Imam Al-Bukhari. Imam Muslim, matruk, abandoned, rejected. This is all about Hafs, guys. وَقَالَ النِّسَاءِ لَيْسَ بِثِقَةِ He's not trustworthy. And Nisai, guys, is also one of the six authentic hadith collection books, right? So three of them, three of the six, are saying he's not trustworthy. We should abandon him. He's abandoned. He is rejected. So why would you? Why would you? You know, this, you see all the list. They are all saying he's not trustworthy. His hadith is... It's all in front of you, right? He's not to be trusted, right? Muslims, I, I, really guys, I don't understand the brains of Muslims. I mean, if, if a liar is a liar, right? A liar is a liar. You can say he's a liar, but at the same time he's trustworthy in the Quranic recitation. No, no, that doesn't make sense, guys. That doesn't make sense. And like we said, 1.8 billion Muslims, that's what they said, 1.8 billion Muslims, most of them use the Hafs version or the Hafs recitation of the Quran. There is no Quran of Uthman anymore, guys. The Quran of Uthman is gone. The Quran of Muhammad is gone. We only have the recitation according to Hafs. He came 200 years after the death of Muhammad. And today, like I said, we are going to show you some evidence for the differences in spelling of words in the house version, in the recitation of house. Let us continue, guys. Let us continue. If we go to <clears throat> chapter al-Baqarah, guys, if we go to chapter al-Baqarah, we can see the name of Abraham, Ibrahim, right? Ibrahim. 
It is written here, as you see here in this word, without an E, right? An E. In the rest of the chapters of the Quran, guys, we're talking still about the Hafs version, guys. The Hafs version. If we go to the rest of the chapters, the same name of Abraham is written with, with an E. Here it's without an E, and here is with an E. You see that? This is Abraham, but spelled differently. So question, question for the audience, for the Muslims who are listening. If Allah is the one who sent down the Quran, should he not pick the right name for Abraham? Huh? Should Allah not pick the right name for Abraham? Is Abraham spelled with an E or without an E? Ibrahim. Ibrahim. He is without, he is with. Did you catch it? This is the same word, same name. Thank you for the confirmation, Tina. Thank you. God bless everyone who just joined in. Please invite your friends. And also don't forget to share the link on social media so people can join our live chat. I'm going to show you from the Quran itself, right? Show you the example that we can find in the ayah for this name of Abraham, spelled differently. So we should ask Allah, Allah, do you write the, the name of Abraham with an E or without an E? Uh-oh. Let me show you guys. Let me show you what I'm talking about. If we go to chapter 2, ayah 258, here you can see the name of Abraham without an E, right? Do you see it? Abraham. Ibrahim. Right? Here you don't see the E. Let me go back. You don't see the E, right? The dots. Do you see it? There's no dots. But, this is by the way, chapter 2, ayah 258. If we go to chapter 3, ayah 84, chapter Ali Amran, here we see Abraham with the E. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. No, no, I'm not talking about the Shkil. I'm not talking about the Shkil Budras. I'm talking about a complete letter missing. A complete letter is missing. The letter E. Right? Do you see it? Let me go back. This is what I'm talking about. Ibrahim. It's still spelled like Ibrahim, but it's written like this. Let me show you. Guys, listen carefully. Ibrahimu. Did you catch it? Ibrahimu. Ibrahim. This is without an E, but still it's spell or basically it's you you are uh, reading it like Ibrahimu. Ibrahim. Did you catch it? Ibrahim. Now we go to the word without the E. Oh, sorry, with the E. This one is without. This one is without. Ibrahimu. Ibrahim. Did you catch it? Still it's spelled with or the E is used, basically. Ibrahima. Ibrahimu, Ibrahima. You know, forget about the Tashkil for a second. So, they are still saying Ibrahim. Here without E, here with E. So, which one is it, Muslims? Ibrahimu. This is the Hafs version, guys. How many Muslims know about this? How many Muslims know about this so allah is the name of ibrahim spelled like this without an e or spelled with an e you see it so in the in the complete chapter of al-baqarah it's without an e but in the rest of the chapters of the quran of and in this case the hafs recitation it's with an e uh oh uh oh If we can go to another example, guys. If we can go to another example. Let me see, show you the deception, guys. This is the same chapter. 
Same chapter, guys. Chapter 20, I-94. Again, chapter 20, I-94. Right? You see here, this is written like this. O oh, son of my mother. Ya ibn ummi. O oh, son of my mother. Ya ibn ummi. Here, it's written separate. Ya ibn ummi. Ya ibn ummi. You see? So we should ask Allah, do you write, O oh, son of my mother, like this? Or should we write it like this? Let me show you guys. From two different websites. Yabna umma. Yabna umma. Or yabna ummi. Yabna umma. Right? One word. Did you catch it? O oh, son of my mother. One word. Chapter 20, ayah 94. Surah at Taha, chapter 20, ayah 94. Now we go to a different website. This is Quran.com. This is Quran. Wow.com Right? Let me see. You see here, it's separate. Oh, son of my mother. Yabna Umma. Uh oh. Uh oh. What, what are we going to do, guys? The same chapter. 20, chapter 20, I 94. Chapter 20, I 94. Here, it's not separate. Oh, son of my mother. Here it's separate. So which one is it, guys? Muslims. Which one is it? Is it written like this? Or is it written like this? Which one is correct? Only one can be correct, guys. Don't be mistaken. Only one can be correct. I mean, I cannot write uh, Rob Christian Rob with a D, then that's a mistake. I write R O B. I don't write R O C, right? You see, ignorance is bliss in Islam. You see the poor victims that who do not know Arabic or only memorize the Quran by heart. They memorize, memorize, memorize their whole life and they don't see the mistakes that are in front of them. Today we are going to destroy the Quran of Hafs. We are destroying it and the proof is in front of you. Did you catch it? So, which, is, which one is the correct one? This one or this one? Only one can be the correct one. Not both. Yabna yeah, Umma. Written without separation, all together. And here you see the, the many alifs. This one is gone. I think, guys, the goat of Aisha, the goat of Aisha ate the alif. Did you catch it? it? Or maybe it was chapter al Baqarah, the Baqarah that is mentioned, the cow. Maybe that one ate the alifs. Right? What do you think, guys? What do you think? I don't know. What do you think, guys? Was that the one? Maybe I I I don't know, man. Was that the Was that the goat that ate the Quran? Huh? I mean, Allah, Allah, alam. Allah knows best, right, Muslims? Allah knows best. Which one is the correct one? Come on, guys, tell me. Is there any Muslim? We showed you from two different websites, right? Is it this one? Yabna umma. Or this one? Let me play the recording for you guys. Did you catch it? Let me play it again. So you are still reading it the same, right? It's the same word. Same words, basically words, right? Listen. Again here from this one. 
Ya bina umma. So which one is the correct one, Muslims? This one or this? Where? I mean, who ate the elephs, guys? I want to know. I want to catch the, th the thief who ate the elephs. Was it the goat of Aisha? Was it maybe the cow of chapter al cow, chapter 2? Maybe that cow? Allah knows best, right Muslims? Let me show you a third example. We already showed you two. Let me show you a third one. Chapter 2, ayah 218. Rahmata. Mercy. Rahmata. Chapter 3, ayah 8. Rahmatan. Which one is the correct one? Is it this one or is it this one? Allah. Only one can be correct, right? Muslims. Only one can be correct. So is it this one or is it this one? How do you write the word, Muslims? Maybe Afur ate the, ate the, the, the words. Which one is the correct one, uh, Abdul Haliga? Allahu A'lam. Take beer, take beer, guys. You see, we are talking, guys, for the people who just joined in, we are talking about the Hafs Quran, right? We are not going to, to different Quranic versions. We are talking about the most used version of the Quran, which is the, today the Hafs Quran, which is memorized in countries like Egypt, countries like Saudi Arabia, even basically whole Europe are using Hafs version. Only in countries like Morocco, uh, Algeria, Libya, they use different Quranic versions. They use Warsh, Qalun. If you go to Sudan, they use, an, use a different one. And like we said earlier, we have 32 different Qurans. But that's not the topic of today. The topic of today is only the Hafs version. Right? We are showing you only the Hafs version. And there is no Quran of Muhammad, there is no Quran of Uthman, there is only the recitation of Hafs, right? I challenge any Muslim to show me the Quran of Muhammad. I challenge any Muslim to show me the Quran of Uthman from the 7th century. Let it go, let it go. So Muslims, again, is it Rahmata? Like this? Or like this with this T, T al Marbuta, as they say, right? You see, this one is closed, this one is open. Which one is it, Muslims? Let me show you from the Quran itself, right? Chapter 2, Ayah 218. Chapter 2, Ayah 218. Surah Al Baqarah. You see the word? Rahmata. Let me play it. Rahmata. Rahmata. You see it? Same word. Right? Rahmata. Chapter 2, Ayah 218. Now, for the same word, we go to a different Quranic Ayah. Chapter 3, Ayah 8. Same word, but different writing, different spelling. Did you catch it? Mercy. Rahmatan. See? Mercy. Mercy. Mercy, mercy, mercy. No, that's a, that's a beautiful song, but let it go, let it go. Not of mercy. <laughs> it's deep, right, guys? How many Muslims know that there are many ways of the same word written, different writing for the one and the same word. I mean, if Allah is supposedly God, question to the audience, questions, question to the Muslims, if Allah is God, should Allah not make this, the mistakes that you see in front of you? Huh? Should Allah not have sent down the so-called so Quran with the same word written, 
not confusing Muslims like this, right? We showed you three differences already, right? Did, I mean, Allah, can't you even write the name of Muhammad correctly? Allah, is it with an E or without an E? Huh? Is, it, is the name of Abraham written with an E or without an E? Uh-oh. Muslims have said there is no letter change in the Quran. There is no word change in the Quran. Uh-oh. But Allah cannot write one of the greatest prophet's name correctly. Which one is it? Tell me, Muslims. Ibrahim? I mean, they still read it the same. They read it the same. I mean, can you read Abraham with the first word with, by changing it to, let's say, to a P? Ibrahim? No, and that's what's happening here basically. They are removing and adding words. Uh oh. That doesn't make sense, guys. Now, people who are listening, Uthman, he collected all the Qurans. And he commanded Zayd ibn Thabit to make a perfect copy. And he burned six of the seven recitations. Why? Because according to Islam, Muhammad received the Quran in seven ways, in seven qirat, seven ways, seven recitations, right? Uthman collected all of them. He burned six and he only kept one of the seven. Why are Muslims not changing the disasters that are, are here in front of you? At least correct your mistakes, Muslims. Correct, collect all the Qurans in the world. Fix the mistakes and burn the Qurans like Uthman did. Burn them. Now we have asked, we have asked guys in the Arabic world, we have asked the scholars, why are you not fixing the mistakes like this one, like this one? Why are you not fixing them? You know what they say? Well, we are, we have reading it like this for the last 1400 years. They know about these problems. The Imams, the scholars know about these problems. But they not love to talk about it. They are scared to death to talk about this. And no scholar dares to say, guys, we have mistakes in the Quran. Let us fix it and burn the Qurans that contain mistakes. Burn them like Uthman. I mean, if Uthman could burn the Quran of Allah, why can't you do it 1400 years later? With, I mean, these are only a couple of mistakes. There are hundreds like this. Hundreds, guys. Let us go to a fourth example. Here the word Sahir, magician or wizard. Magician or wizard. Chapter 51, Ayah 39. Sahir. Chapter 51. Three verses later, three ayahs later. Uh, sorry, yeah. No, not three. Uh, more than three. Thirteen. As you see. Fifty-two. So, fifty-one, fifty-two. Sahir. But with an alif. Do you see? Here, here's an alif. The A. And here it's without. So, which one is it, Allah? Is it Sahir or Sahir with an alif? <laughs> Look at this, guys. Sahirun. 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 Right? Chapter 51, ayah 39. Chapter 51, ayah 39. Like this one. You see it? Sahirun. And if you go to the... This uh, website, guys. If we go to this website that we showed you earlier. 
Chapter 51, Ayah 39. Let me show you the deception on this website, guys. Do you see the word? It's written with an alif. Do you see it? It's written with an alif, right? Here, same chapter, 51, Ayah 39. They are deceiving the Muslims who go on QuranWow.com because it's not written like this. It's written like this. You see the deception now, guys? Not only have we shown you differences in writing, but we are showing you the deception. They are adding. <laughs> guys, are you catching what is happening? Give me a one if you just understood what happened. God bless you too, Tamar. Did you just understood what happened, guys? No. Okay, again. This is chapter 51, ayah 39. Do you see it? Chapter 51, ayah 39. Sahir, without an alif, right? Here is no alif. Sahir, no alif. Do you see it? No long alif. Here, different website. Same chapter, 51. Same ayah, 39. Do you see it? 39. Here, they are deceiving the people who come to this website. They are fixing. Do you see the elf here? Do you see the elf? Guys, let me make it bigger. Maybe you are blind. Sorry, guys. Some people may be blind. Here. Same chapter, right? Same ayah. 39. 39. See the deception, guys? You see the deception? Where's the long elf here? Do you see it? Which one is correct? This one is correct. Because this is what you will find in the Qur'ans of the Muslims. This is Qur'an.com, guys. This is the number one website for the Qur'an in the whole world. Qur'an.com Let me give you the links so you can compare it yourself. And see the deception of the Abduls. Who are putting the Qur'an of Allah online. Lying about the Qur'an of Allah. That's Qur'an.com. This is the same ayah. From a different website. Open them up. Welcome my world changer. God bless. Open them up and see. This is the same ayahs guys. And see the deception in front of you. Sahir. Sahir. But here they, are, they played with the word. Guys. <clears throat> like I said. This is chapter 51 ayah 39. Let me go to the same Quran.com, but show you from a different ayah. 5139, this is 5152. 51, let me give you the link and compare all three links that I just gave you. Compare all three, okay, guys? Promise? Pinky promise? Sahir. You see it? Here it's with an alif. Yeah, Quran Wow is lying, guys. Yes, QuranWow.com is lying to you. So this is a different ayah. This is not 39. This is 52, 51, 52. Here it's written with an alif. Here the deception on this website, chapter 35, ayah 39. Couple verses before. Lying, adding alif. Here, same ayah, not without an alif. You see, we showed you the number one, we showed you the deception of QuranWow.com, right? Adding to the Quran of Allah <laughs> without any shame, without any honor, and without di any dignity. The one who is the moderator of this website has no shame, has no dignity. And we just prove it to you. No shame. You see, they are playing with the Quran of Allah like it's basically a toy in their hands. It's a toy. The Quran of Allah is a toy in the hands of Muslims. Of the Abdul who are suffering from Abdulism. So guys, you see how the big the deception is? You see how big the deception is, guys? Aib. Exactly. Have you no shame, Muslims? Have you no dignity when you put the Quran of Allah on the internet? You can't trust any, any Islamic source, guys, basically. You can't trust Hafs. You can't trust any Muslim. 
Imagine guys, I'm, I just converted to Islam. I have no clue about Islam, right? I just converted to Islam and I go to a website like this one, QuranWow.com. And I read like this, oh, I see an LFO, this, this must be the right one because I have to trust these people, right? Scooter Tamano, I'm, I'm not sure, maybe later. I have a topic going on, okay? I have a topic, guys. You see, guys? So Allah, is it with an alif or without an alif? Is it Sahar with an alif or Sahar without an alif? Huh? Which one is it, Allah? Which one is the correct one? Only one can be the right one, right, guys? Only one is the correct one. They can be they can be both correct. That's impossible, guys. It is impossible to have the same word written differently. It's impossible. Right? I can't, for example, I can't write the name of Abraham in English differently, right? This is how you write Abraham. So basically that's what's happening here, right? One is written basically like this. The other one is written like this. Right? So the elif is missing. The A. Right? The elif. This one here. Only one can be correct. Madness. Exactly. So Muslims... Is chapter 5139 the correct one? Or is this liar? No, this liar is a lie. He's a, he's a scam. This guy who made this website is a scam. Filthy, disgusting liar using taqiyya. Or is it this one? Chapter 51, ayah 52. Which word is the correct one, Muslims? You, and, and you know what damaging is, guys? Listen, listen. Let me play the word and... Look how they are deceiving the people who cannot think for themselves, who, who do not know Arabic. Sahir, listen. Sahirun, Sahirun, Sahirun. And if we go back to that other ayah, 39. Sahirun. Same, they are pronouncing it the same. Sahirun. Did you catch it? Sahirun. Different without an alif. Sahirun. Sahirun. Again? Sahirun. You see? <laughs> Same sound exactly. But that's not possible. Right? Really? Allah. Which one is it? Again. Allah. Is it this one with an alif or without an alif? Without an alif, with, with an alif. Only one can be correct. Not both. You see guys how important today's live show is? You see how important this is guys? If you truly call yourself a Christian, I ask you to download today's video. Download it. And upload it on social media guys. Help me to help you. Don't be a lazy Christian. How many videos have you seen like this one? Tell me. Christians, how many videos have you seen like this one? Not many, right? Download this video. Don't be lazy. Help just one soul. I'm not asking you to help hundreds of Muslims. Help just one Muslim. You know what the Bible says? If there's one person who accepts Jesus Christ as his Lord and Savior, there is a huge celebration in heaven, right? Just one soul, guys. Islam is a scam. The Quran of Allah is a scam. If you can help one soul, that's already good, guys. Right? Deception on top of dece deception. So, guys, do you think, guys who just joined in, do you think that the goat of Aisha, the goat of Aisha, the goat of Aisha ate the Quran? Ate the Alif? Huh?
The goat of Ash ate the elf here? I want to know, man. Is that the goat of Ash who ate the Quran, guys? Who ate the elf? I want to know. I want to know who the America's most wanted number guy is who ate the elf of Allah. Yeah, he screamed Allah Akbar without an elf. Right? Man. Sahir, he with an elf? Without an elf. Did you catch it? And this Abdulism, suffering from Abdulism, this liar, deceiver, putting an elf here. Well, there is nothing called elf in, in the same ayah. Chapter 51, ayah 39. Deception lies to fix the mistake of Allah. These people have truly no shame. Did you catch it? You see, this guy putting always an elif. If you go, just do a search, guys, for this word, he will always put an elif. Let me show you. This liar, this deceiver. Look. Sahir. Right? If I look, guys, if I, let me, you know, Muslims need to do their own homework, you know. I will not do their homework for them, to be honest with you. Let them do their own homework. Go do it yourself. Not my problem. Guys, Samiri. Samiri. This is basically uh, a tribe, right? A tribe. Samiri. Chapter 20. I-95. Chapter 20, I-85. Uh, 95, 85. 95, 85. You see? Samiri. Here with an elif, here without an elif. Did you catch it? Again, the goat of Aisha eating the elif. So Allah, which one is the correct one? I mean, you can't call someone Samiri, one with an elif, one without an elif. Right? Which one is it? And there are hundreds and hundreds of mistakes like this. I mean, if you're a Samiri or you're a Jew, can I write your name differently? No, you're a Jew. I can't call you Boo. You're a Jew. Who? Yes, you. You're a Jew. You're not a Boo. You're not a me. You're a Jew. So why is Allah destroying the spelling of, of a tribe name. Chapter 20, I-95. Let me show you from the Quran, guys. Chapter 20, I-85. As-Samiri. As-Samiri. Did you catch it? As-Samiri. The Samiri, right? As-Samiri. Here is with an elef. You see the elef here? You see it, right? It's big. It's in front of you. We go to a different ayah. Chapter 20, I 95. Ya Samiri. Basically, O Samiri. So you, you can remove this part, the Ya, O. Here it's without an Alif. Same word. Uh oh. Same word, guys. Same word. Samiri, but without, without an Alif. Here they are basically saying, O Samiri, right? O. Rev calling on the Samiri, right? But where's the elif? Samiri with an elif? Samiri without an elif. Which one is the correct one, Allah? Allahu Alam. Allah knows best. Allahu Alam. Now, when we ask the scholars of Islam, why are you not fixing your Quran? You know what they say, guys? You know what they say? They are saying the following. What? Right. Right. Lord of mercy. Guys, don't forget to subscribe, smash the like button, and also click on the notification bell to receive notification when we go live. So... Muslims, I really, really want to know. I really want to know. 
يا شيوخ يا scholars او scholars او شيوخ او استاذ why are you not fixing the damaging stuff that is found in the Hafs Quran we are talking about the Hafs Quran guys Fix it. This is the number one used Quran version of Allah in the world. And we see so many horrible disasters. For the people who just joined in, first we mentioned the name Abraham, right? Ibrahim, here, without an E, right? Without an E, here, the same name of Abraham, but with an E. So Allah, what is the right one? What's the right way to write Ibrahim? Abraham. So basically this one, guys. Ibrahim, here it's written like this. Ib like this. The second one is written like this. You see it? Do you see it? The E without an E. How can you put your salvation on the line when Allah cannot even spell the name correctly of one of his most important prophets, which is Abraham? Only one can be the correct one, right? Only one, not both. I mean, this is a name for God's sake. This is a name. Allah, which one is the, right, the correct one? Shuyukh, which one is the correct one? We don't know. I think this E that you see here has been written, sorry, has been eaten by the goat of Aisha, right? It has been eaten by the goat of Aisha. Right? This is the goat. Oh, man. Allah. Where are you when, you when we need you? Where are you when we need you, Allah, to answer the disasters that you created for the Muslims? But we know why this is happening, guys. We know why this is happening, right? Because, like we mentioned earlier, Hafs is a liar and a thief. All of his hadith is matrug. He used to fabricate hadith. And we know that the Quran of Allah is a hadith. Right? People who are listening. The Quran is a hadith. Right? So this house, when he provided the people his Quranic recitation, he lied and the proof is in front of you. Lying here. Getting himself busted here. Right? Lying here. Is it... With or without all these elephs, and is it written without separation or with separation? Right? Oh, son of my mother. Here it's written as one word. Here, separation. Right? Ya ibn ummi. Right? Oh, son of my mother. Chapter 20, ayah 94. Again, chapter 20, ayah 94. And we are showing you how they are fixing things, right? Ya ibn ummi. Yeah, and here they fix it. Same chapter 20. This guy, this liar, this deceiver, 94, right? Look how he's writing it. This is the Quran of house, guys. Look. Same ayah. 2094. See it? 2094. Yabna Umma. Yabna Ummi, basically. Here, this liar. Try to deceive people who come to his website. You filthy liar, you filthy scumbag. Guys, we have asked, I kid you not, I kid you not, we have asked Muslims who go to the college, to the universities, can you read this word? Can you read this word? They say, no, we can't. Why? Because this is not, they can't read it. This is not even a word. So when you ask, a smart person who goes to college, to the university, to read this word, he can't read it. Why? Because this is a disaster. 
because this is the right way to write it basically ya ibn ummi right look and they are they are even do do not have any shame i mean let me play it for you guys let me play it for you you hear it yabna umma let me play this word for you yabna umma <laughs> how can you read a word while it's different written differently that's not possible they can't read this word because this word is really a disaster to read. I'm, I'm honest with you. This word that you see here is a disaster to read it. Right? So this guy, this guy, QuranWaw.com, the moderator of this website, he is really a filthy scumbag, a deceiver, and he, he tried to fix the Quran of Allah because he knows this is a disaster to read. So he made it easier for the people who come to his website. But that's not the Quran of Allah. Open the Quran of Allah and go to chapter 20, ayah 94. Go to any bookstore, buy the Quran, and you'll see it's written like this. Not like this. This is wrong. This is a lie. This is the right way to write it. Did you catch it? So... Did the God of Allah eat all the alifs, guys? When Muslims say, this is the Quran of Allah, this is Quran.com. This is the Quran of Allah. Where are the alifs? Did the God of Aisha eat the alifs? Like this. This is the alifs, right? This is alif number one, alif number two, alif number three. Missing. Missing, guys. Where are they? See it? Which one is the correct one, Allah? Right? Guys, do we have any questions? Do we have any questions about the disasters of the Hafs Quran? The liar and the deceiver Hafs. Who could not even give you the correct Quran. Because once he wrote the, the name of Ibrahim wrong, and here he wrote it correct. Which one is correct? This one? This one? Allahu Alam. So you see how Hafs is a liar, guys? You see? Muslims, wake up, please. Wake up. Do you have any Muslim? Well, I don't know, Marcus, you tell me. I would not stay, guys, this is why I always say, this is why Christian Prince always says, we are Arabic speaking people, we know what we are talking about, right? You cannot be a Muslim for a split second. This is why. If you really care about your brains, you will not accept the Quran as the word of Allah. Because if Allah is truly God, He should have known how to write the name of, of Abraham correctly in the Arabic. Is it without an E or is it with an E? Only one can be the true one, the correct one. Right? You can't write the names like this, both of them are correct, no. That's insanity. That's madness. Madness. Muslims, wake up. Here is the proof. Ibrahim, look, and they are even pronouncing it the same. You, you Muslims have no shame, really. Ibrahim. Ibrahim. So here with an E. Same pronunciation, right? Ibrahim. Ibrahim. With an E? <laughs> Without an E. You see, the dots here are missing, right? <laughs> ya Shiyukh. Ya Ustaz. Ya Ustaz. Where are you? Where are you? 
Charles Brown, I couldn't see the view more. Was he Mumbo? Right. Where are you to answer our questions, Muslims? Imams, where are you? Please help me. Uh oh. Kazab? Yeah, Ibn Ka Look, this, this, we have an Abdul who is calling himself Free Bird. Yeah, Kazab ibn Kazab. The proof is in front of you. Which, which word is the correct one? With, without an E or with an E? Which one is the correct one, Abdul? Huh? This is Quran! Chapter 2, Ayah 258. Ya Kazab ibn Kazab. <laughs> liar of a liar, son of a liar. He is calling me a liar, guys. Look, who is the liar? Your Quran is lying. Chapter 2, Ayah 258. Chapter 3, I 84. Which one is correct? Right? Ya yeah, Ibn Ummi, is it writing it this one way correct or this one? With ellipse or without? Without chapter 20, I 94. Right? Or with chapter 20, I 94. Which one is the correct one? And we showed you that this guy is a liar. Right? Filthy liars, man. Which one is the correct one? Huh? <laughs> is it Rahmata with T Marbuta or without T Marbuta? Close T or without, without a close T? Same word. Chapter 2, I 218. Chapter 3, I 8. Right? Uh, where is it? Here. Mercy. Right? Mercy. Right? Same word. But written differently. Right? What a shame. You, you dare to call me a liar, you filthy dog that you are? You filthy donkey calling me a liar? You truly have no shame, you have no dignity. Calling me a liar? Calling Rob Krishna a liar? You filthy dog? You filthy Satan worshipper? You dare to call me a liar? Bring me your Imam, bring me your Imam, Abdul. Bring me your Imam. Filthy liars, son of liars, calling us liars for showing you the proof, right? You Muslims have truly no shame, right? Is it Sahir with an Aleph, without an Aleph, or with an Aleph? Same word, right? Chapter 51, Ayah 39, without an Aleph, Sahirun. And this guy lied in his website, filthy liar. But if we go to another chapter, uh, sorry, another ayah, same chapter, 51, ayah 52. Sahirun. Right? Sahirun. Without an alif, without an A, right? Basically, with an A. Sahirun. Sahirun. You filthy liars. Do we have any ustas? Huh? Let me open up my Skype. Do we have any ustas? Huh? Do we have any imam who is watching and dares to call me? If you truly have no shame, please call me and tell me I'm a liar. If you have shame, don't call me. If you have shame, don't call me because I'll spank you. I will spank your prophet and I will spank your Quran. Do we have any donkey who dares to call me? Yalla, call me. 
Hả? Ồ ồ Red pill You see why you can't trust people? I mean, I mean, for God's sake, I just became a Muslim, right? I, I became a Muslim and I need to understand the Quran, right? And imagine, I find this website, quranwall.com, right? I go to this website and I find Sahir, a wizard, written like this. And I think, hey, this must be the correct way to read it. This is the correct word. But then, after a couple of weeks, I go to this website, Quran.com, and I find it saying, Ayah 51, 39, 51, 39, you see it? 39, 39, you see it? 39. This guy is lying, fixing his own Quran on his website, and this is the true Quran, the true Hafs Quran, right? Here it's written without an alif, here it's written with an alif because this guy is a liar trying to fix the Quran of Allah. This guy has no shame like this free bird guy. You have no shame, you have no honor, you have no dignity. You are a son of Satan, you are a filthy dog. I'll tell it in your face. Why? Because you Muslims have no shame. You are truly Satan worshippers. The only thing you can do is hide evidence. Right? You hide the evidence. You are an idiot for being a Muslim, Abdul. You are suffering from Abdulism. And the proof is in front of you. See guys, how they are trying to fix the Quran of Allah? Hiding the mistakes. See it? So, Muslims. Ya Shiyukh. Ya Muhammadan. Ya yeah, Abdulism, ya yeah, donkey, you guys you remember that Egyptian guy who goes on speaker's corner and call, calling our brothers and sisters like Daniel, like Hatun, like Jay Smith, ya yeah, donkey, right? Who is the donkey now? Huh? Ya yeah, donkey, who is the donkey now? Allah. If you are there, is it with an alif or without? Can't you even write the name of your prophet correctly? Is it with an E or without an E? Come on, Allah. Where are you? And as we showed you guys, as we showed you earlier, for the people who just joined in, we showed you, according to people like Al-Bukhari, Sahih Muslim, they are saying that the hadith of Hafs is to be rejected. Matruk, Tarakuhu, rejected him. Al Nisa'i says, Laysa bi thuqa. He's not even trustworthy. Matruk al Hadith, about Al Hafs. About Hafs. So why are you trusting the Hadith in his hand? Because remember the Quran, guys. Quran is a Hadith, right? So you're saying you have to reject his hadith, but the Quran of Allah is a hadith. So you have to reject his Quran too. Did you catch it, guys? Because the proof is in front of you. This guy is not to be trusted. You see? He created disasters. You see? Te marbuta, te marbuta, right? Close T. Not close T. Missing Aleph. Here the Aleph is added. Same chapter. This is the same chapter. In the Hafs Quran. This is deep. Do we have any Sheikh who dares to call me? And refute me? You can't, right? Because you get spanked. Muslims, I invite you to leave this deceptive cult. You, you should drop the Quran of Hafs, the Quranic recitation of Hafs. There is nothing called Quran, guys, anymore. There is only the recitation of Hafs. And this guy is a liar and a deceiver. 
right? And we showed you the proof. He busted himself in writing the name of, of the prophets. He can't, he can't even tell you which one is the correct one. Which one is the correct one? Only one can be correct. Right? And these are only a couple of examples that I showed you today, guys. Just a couple of them. There are hundreds like these. Hundreds. I'm not going to go through all the hundreds, but I'm showing you and the proof is in front of you. And this donkey in the chat, free bird, calling me a liar, a you liar, you filthy scumbag, like your imams who are hiding this from you. You know, Muslims are so proud though to memorize the Quran. You see, they memorize, memorize for baraka, 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 right? They, they only want the barakas of Allah, right? The blessings of Allah. You know, memorize the Quran, memorize the Quran, right? Without any intellect, right? Truly, guys, truly. Being an in, in intellect, intellectual, using your brains, is not there in Islam. You can't use your brains. You are not allowed to use your brains. And even the Quran says, Don't ask questions. Don't ask questions. Right? Well, here's why they don't ask questions. Because the moment they start to ask questions, they will leave Islam. Right? Samiri. Samiri. Here without an alif, here with an alif. Which one is correct, Allah? Only one can be correct. I mean, this is a tribe. This is like the Jews. This is like the Christians. Right? Right? This ayah and this ayah is talking about the Samari people, right? Like the Jews, like the Christians. Can you write a tribe's name twice differently? No. Right? You can't. Yeah, uh, free, free uh, bird. You are, you are making a fool out of yourself and people are laughing at you. For being a donkey who is suffering from Abdulism in Islam. Right? You Muslims really are brainwashed. And this is why you are Muslims. You stay in Islam, but you don't see these huge disasters. Right? Huge disasters. Right? Do we have any question in the text, guys? Do we have any ustaz? Call me on Skype, guys. My Skype is open. Call me. Yes, the Samaritans, Abdul Haliga, exactly. The Samaritans, you can only write the Samaritans in one correct way, right? Like this in English, for example. When you put, when you write it like this, that's not possible, right? And that's what is happening here in front of you, right? One is written basically like this. Pay attention, guys. And the other one is written like this. With an Aleph, right? With an A. Did you catch it? I think the God of Aisha, the God of Aisha, guys, the goat of Aisha ate the Quran. Oh man. The goat of Aisha ate the Quran again. I think this goat is part of the Mossad, exactly, Marcus. This was a Jewish goat. She ate the elephs. Right? Look, and mostly are the elephs, right? You see how, how important an elef can be in Arabic? Most of them that are missing are the elephs, right? You see it? 
And here, the last word is different. See? Without ellipse, here, separated with ellipse. Right? So which one is the correct way? We don't know. Allahu alam. Here the E dots. You see that? The E. This is the E, guys. You write it when it's behind. In the last part, you write it like this. But when it's between words, you write it like this. This is the E, right? That you see here. Like this. And then two dots. That's the E. Here the E is missing. Right? If you are a Muslim living in 2019 and you care about the truth, only the truth will set you free. Wake up Muslims. Leave this satanic cult, this deceptive cult that has been lying to you. Your imams have been lying to. Please come back to Jesus. Accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior. Today we prove to you that the Quran cannot be from Allah. Why? It cannot be from God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the true living God of the Holy Bible. Why? Because if Allah was truly God, he could have at least written the name of Abraham correctly. Right? God cannot mis make mistake, Muslims. Wake up. Guys, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and smash that like button. Download the video. It needs normally around 30 minutes to be processed by YouTube. Then download it, guys. Upload it on your social media accounts. This is a very important video, right, guys? As you notice today. Unfortunately, not many people mention these problems in the English section of YouTube. This, these topics have been mentioned all over the Arabic section. And Muslims in the Arab world are leaving Islam one, one after another. By the thousands they are leaving when we show them these videos. But these videos are not there in the English section of YouTube. Especially if you don't know Arabic, you will never ever understand the disasters and the Hafs recitation. Right? This is the Hafs Quran, guys. Quran.com is the Hafs Quran. Right? This is Hafs. Right? This is Hafs. This is Hafs. You see, the name is written without an E here. Ibrahim. Without an E. With an E, sorry. And here, without an E. With an E. You see the dots? Without an E. See? I made only screenshot. This is only a screenshot, right, guys? And the proof is in front of you. How can the name of Abraham written in the whole Surah Al-Baqarah, in the chapter of Al-Baqarah, without an E, but in the rest of the chapters of the Quran, they are written with an E? Only one can be correct. Is Surah Al-Baqarah correct? Or is, are the, the rest of the 113 chapters of the Quran correct? Which one is the correct one, Allah? Allahu A'lam. Where is the miracle, Muslims? You Muslims have always claimed the Quran is a miracle. How can, can a so-called Quran that contains a miracle have these huge disasters? Huge disasters. Right? And we showed you five examples today. Right? Thank you for watching, guys. God bless you. Share this video with everyone. Download it and share it. The truth must go out. And if you can save one Muslim soul today, that's already a huge celebration in heaven according to the Holy Bible. Help me to help you guys. Don't be lazy. Do the Lord's work. God bless you and your families. See you again very soon. Lord willing. God bless. See you next time.